Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory condition. It is what we call an autoimmune disease, where the immune system attacks the healthy cells in your body by mistake, causing inflammation and pain. Being chronic means it is a long-term condition that will likely require lifelong management to control the symptoms. What is rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is very different to osteoarthritis, which results from wear and tear on the joint. You can also develop viral arthritis, which is similar, but caused by a completely different trigger. And in this case, it's a virus, rather than your own immune system. How is rheumatoid arthritis diagnosed? If a doctor suspects you might have rheumatoid arthritis, they'll send for blood tests to check on blood levels of antibodies called rheumatoid factor, or RHF, and anti-CCP. They might also check other general markers of inflammation like erythrocyte sedimentation rate, or ESR, or C-reactive protein, otherwise known as CRP. A formal diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis requires a rheumatologist who is a specialised physician that looks at all things musculoskeletal. If you're found to have rheumatoid arthritis, they will be the best placed person to help develop a personalised treatment and management plan. Early diagnosis is important because it means you can start treatment for rheumatoid arthritis as soon as possible and reduce the chance that you will have serious symptoms later. What are the signs of rheumatoid arthritis? The most common symptom of rheumatoid arthritis is joint pain as well as joint swelling. This is usually in the smaller joints of the hands and wrists at first and then may progress to larger joints later. You might also experience stiffness in the joints, especially in the morning. It's typically symmetrical, affecting the same joint on both sides of the body. Rheumatoid arthritis can also have other symptoms, such as fatigue, fevers, and inflammation at other sites, including the skin, which can cause rashes, as well as in the eyes, lungs, heart, kidney, blood vessels, salivary glands, central and peripheral nervous system, and bone marrow. Symptoms may become more intense at times, which is known as a flare, or a flare-up. What causes rheumatoid arthritis? Our bodies have excellent immune systems that are designed to recognise what is foreign in our body, like a virus or a bacterial infection, and then it gets rid of it. With an autoimmune disorder like rheumatoid arthritis, the body gets confused and thinks part of itself is foreign, triggering an immune response. What causes this is unknown, but our genes might play a role, and if you have a family history of rheumatoid arthritis, then you might be more likely to develop it yourself. Having one autoimmune condition can also increase your risk of developing another. So, if you have type 1 diabetes or irritable bowel disease, for example, you might be more likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis. Autoimmune conditions often develop over time, so you might be more likely to be diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis from your mid-40s onwards, but it can actually affect people at any age. How does rheumatoid arthritis affect the joints? Rheumatoid arthritis typically affects the joints, which are the places where bones meet. At your joints, bones, muscles, ligaments and tendons all work together so that you can bend, twist, stretch and move about. The end of your bones are covered by a thin layer of cartilage, which acts like a slippery cushion to absorb shock and help your joints move smoothly. And your joints are wrapped inside a fibrous capsule filled with synovial fluid. This fluid lubricates and nourishes the cartilage and other structures within the joint. When you have rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system attacks your joints, causing a buildup of synovial fluid and inflammation of the tissues that line the joint cavity, called the synovial membrane. This can cause pain, heat and swelling. With rheumatoid arthritis, the cartilage that usually cushions your joint can become brittle and break down, which can make your joints feel stiff and painful to move and they become unstable as the ligaments, tendons and muscles around them can also be affected. Persistent joint inflammation can lead to the development of bony erosions, cartilage and tendon degradation and joint deformity. That's why early diagnosis and treatment is so important in managing rheumatoid arthritis and reducing the impact it has on your body and on your quality of life. So what is the treatment and management? Rheumatoid arthritis affects everyone differently. So patients need to have an individualised treatment and management plan that takes into account the severity of their disease, symptoms, experience and other health concerns. Ideally, there should be a team of health professionals working with the patient, and this might include a GP, a rheumatologist, a physiotherapist, occupational therapist, podiatrist and a psychologist. The goal is to help patients control their symptoms and be able to undertake normal day-to-day -day activities, preventing joint damage and avoiding any other complications. What treatments are there for rheumatoid arthritis? 
Treatment is divided into two categories, one to alleviate symptoms and the other to modify the disease. A combination of both is often needed to control disease and also manage the pain associated with flare-ups. Anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen and corticosteroids are typically recommended to reduce pain and inflammation. They don't change the disease, they just help the symptoms. Disease-modifying treatments such as methotrexate alter your immune system and alter the disease progression. In some cases, more advanced biological and targeted synthetic disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs might also be used. These drugs target specific molecules in your body that are known to contribute to disease. How can rheumatoid arthritis be managed through lifestyle? The best thing you can do is stop smoking or vaping, both of which can worsen the severity of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms and reduce the effectiveness of treatment. They can also increase your risk of developing heart disease. Despite myths, turmeric will not cure rheumatoid arthritis, but having a healthy diet, managing other comorbidities such as hypertension and diabetes, and maintaining physical fitness can help reduce symptoms. Can rheumatoid arthritis be prevented? Rheumatoid arthritis cannot be prevented and the exact cause is still unknown. But early diagnosis, treatment and management can stop it from progressing further.